Hello, bediddlers. How are you diddling? Welcome back to Mega Man One, and uh, we're now on part three. We beat Elect Man last time, who gave us a electric weapon, and that is good against Ice Man. Now you remember what I said about Elect. Uh, Elect Man stage being not a good one to start with, while this one is arguably even worse to start with. I think it might be the hardest level of the six, possibly the worst level of the six as well, unless you come prepared. But first, I've got zero lives, so uh, I'm gonna kill myself and uh, game over. See you in a bit. One more. And uh, you also get to see the game over screen. And uh, when you do game over, you 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 do not start right from the beginning of the game. The bosses you've beaten are still beaten. And also, if any weapons you've used, all your weapon energy is refilled. So that's actually a good tip. Sometimes it's a good idea to game over. Now the weapon we got from uh, Electman is the Thunderbeam. And this weapon is potentially the best weapon in the game. It fires in three directions and it kills things in one hit. Well, a lot of things in one hit. So if we take these enemies, for example. You know, they, they can be a bit fiddly. Buster will kill them in one hit. But you can get a bit, you can get a bit distracted. Because if you hit them in the bottom, on the legs... Then the, uh, the the top bit will come apart and attack you, as it is doing here. The thunder beam negates that entirely. And uh, just kills it outright. And it also kills the spine enemies on the floor. Oh, thank you for that health. Some penguin enemies here, easily taken out with a thunder beam. But, you know, nice part of the theme. Some weapon energy right there. Some more weapon energy filling up my uh, beam. And uh, yeah, I mean, once I have this weapon, I'm disinclined to go back to my regular weapon, my uh, regular gun. Because it's just so powerful. And it's cheap as well. You have 28 uses of this. And so, you know, there's not... And you can relatively easy get energy back. Let's kill this thing. Right. We now come to some more disappearing blocks which we first saw in Electman stage. This stage, however, gets more complicated with these blocks. Let's see if we can remember the pattern. Observe, then go. This one's not too bad because if you mess it up, you won't die. And indeed, none of the, the blocks are over disappearing. None of the blocks, sorry, are over bottomless pits. So you're, in, you're, you're, you're not really in danger. Now this bit here, I could cheese it using the the platform gun, the magnet beam that I got in the last, in a, a Leckman stage, like this. Skipped it, but I'm going to show you how to do it legitimately. I won't lie, before I played this, before I started recording this, I did practice this stage. This stage is a bit tricky. Now, we come to the worst part of the stage, these platforms here. And normally, I would generally recommend you use the magnet beam, because that can happen. And we're back. I'm going to equip the elect beam. And uh, we're going to try this legitimately again, but this section is really tough. It's so easy to get knocked off here. This bit is quite finicky. You know, it's just extremely dangerous. Oh, that was close. Oh, and as you can see there, it hits you and you can fall through the platform. So, yeah, this section is quite bad and we gamed over there. See you in a bit.
Oh, we made it. Goodness gracious me. Apologies for the silence there, but that requires quite a bit of work. I think that uh, penguin actually uh, shot me into the uh, into the correct direction so I get myself an extra life. Well, that took quite a few attempts, but I will show you how you should really do that at the end of the video. Bit, a big eye. Let's platform our way over it. But yeah, that section, as you could see, was brutal. And it's just so easy to fall to your death there. To get knocked off by a penguin, to get knocked off by a bullet, to be knocked through the platform. I just don't recommend it. And now we come to Iceman himself. Iceman, imagine this. You finally got to the, the gate and you think, I hope Iceman is easy. Technically his pattern is simple, but it requires precision and he can kill you in three hits. We've got three lives, so let's try it with a regular weapon first. Here he is. We now this is all he does. This is his pattern. But you do not want to get hit by the ice slashes. And with, with slow down, it can be a little bit... It requires such precision. Unfortunately, I didn't come here with full health, so I think one more would destroy me. And the trouble is... And he's gone. And you could hit him, kill him, but if an ice slasher, his weapon, is still on the screen, it can kill you. So, that's not ideal. But with that, we finally beat Iceman stage. And uh, later on, I will use his weakness. Again, spoilers. But heaven, goodness gracious me. What a stage that is. Don't start with that one. Now, counterintuitively, the ice weapon is good against Fireman. You'd think it'd be the other way around, but hey, what do I know? One thing I didn't point out about the, the ladders here, if you're on a ladder and you press pause, let's say you want to choose a different weapon, and you unpause, they'll let go of the ladder and fall down, so be warned that could get you killed. Our screw bomber friends that we saw in the very first level we took on. And uh, needless to say, got a little fire and lava theme level here. And uh, you know, it can be quite treacherous. And uh, those are little fires that come from above, they are, well they don't come from above, they come from the lava and uh, drop down on you, they are tackle fires. Now, you might think those health, that, that the health there looks a bit difficult to get, but what you can do is freeze, because that's apparently how it works, you can freeze the fire pillars with your ice, and I recommend doing so. Now this section here, This bit is okay, but this section here requires such ridiculous precision. And uh, I think it's unlikely I'll do it. You need to turn this just right. Let's see if I can do it. I cannot do it. So what I'd recommend you doing instead is using the electric, using the, uh, the platform beam, the magnet beam. And uh, going up this way, because otherwise the timing is just the uh, yeah the timing is extremely precise not so much here and it's almost they know it's like they know that's precise because they give you health here they, they know you're probably gonna get hit there now this is now the checkpoint so if you die this is where you wound up Let's get our lek beam out. To just, you can actually destroy these things, which is a nice thing to know. And of course, freeze the fire beams if the fi yeah, freeze the fire pillars if you need to. Of course, the fire is instant death, so don't fall into the fire. These fire uh, hazards are not instant death though, and it's just as well because again, unless you have the magnet beam. This is an incredibly precise timing. Let's see if we can do it. 
Nearly, nearly, but we didn't quite manage it. Let's see if we can do this. No, no, I've never mastered that. I always tend to skip it with the magnet beam. I know, I'm a scumbag and uh, I regret nothing. And we're nearly at the end of the stage. It's after Iceman stage, this one's a breeze, really. I mean, you'll get hit a few times with some very precise timing, but it's not the end of the world. Let's just not get hit by those... Let's just not fall into the fire. And yeah, we're, we're already at the boss. Already at the boss. And the fireman himself is, is quite tricky. But again, a bit like a, a, a Lekman, there is a pattern that you can actually... I'm uh, oh, stupid. I've uh, blocked myself off there. In we go. There is a pattern that you can lock him into, and uh, I'm going to try and do it here. Again, the boss, the uh, corridor, where if you're low on health, you could farm and uh, see if you can get health, like I just did there. Right. Fireman, weak against the ice weapon, the ice slasher. But let's see if we can take him out with a good old Mega Buster, our regular weapon. Well, we, we could do. He's just, he takes he, His fire doesn't do that much damage. For some reason, his fire does not that much damage, whereas the ice weapon does loads of damage. D don't ask me why. I, I don't understand it. But for some reason in this game, uh, Mega Man hates uh, ice. And electricity, for that matter. Let's try that again. There we go. He's locked in there. He will go down like the fool he is. I've jump, do that at the end, otherwise you'll land on the fire and get hit. And there we go. We did a no damage of fire, man. I'm pleased with that. After the calamity of Iceman stage, but that didn't happen. we are. And there's our next stage, Dr. Wily himself. But that will have to wait until next time. Uh, thank you very much indeed for watching, and I'll see you as we commence the end game. Before I go, first things first. Right, this is what you should do. Get your magnet beam and skip these things. They're awful. They're finicky, you can't rely on them, they're random. Nearly died there, but we pretend that didn't happen. And it's actually not a bad way of skipping the penguin, so yeah, do that. Talking of making things easier for yourself, let's try this fight again, shall we? Well, that was a fight, wasn't it? See you next time.